What's up guys? Another update, <clears throat> and this is a good one. So it's been about a month and a half, two months I've been working on my truck. It is fixed. It is fixed. I wouldn't say 100%, but it is pretty close to being good. Um, it runs fine. I just have an issue starting it from time to time, as in sometimes it'll take an extra three seconds to start. And I'm not quite sure why. I think maybe the check valve for my fuel line might be bad. It's either that or the fuel pump's gone. So uh, sometime here shortly, I am going to test the fuel pressure. And if it comes down to something wrong there, I will run the gas tank close to dry and drop it and then take out the fuel pump and put in a new one. So that'd be probably another 75 bucks. Not bad, not bad, but as of right now, it will start and she will drive. She drives really well. Uh, I was a little worried about the transmission for a while. I think I might have put too much fluid in it at one point. I end up, I was gonna do a, a filter change yesterday so I drained all the fluid out of my, or not all. Release the, the little valve at the bottom of the transmission pan, and that only gets you about half of the transmission fluid. And I went to unbolt the pan and come to find out about two of the bolts I can't get to with at least any of the tools. Well, okay, I can get to one of the bolts with, one, with a wrench. That would take probably a good 20 minutes to undo. Not a problem, I could do that. But then there's the other one that's like, right in the middle of this like very tight crevice. And I went out and bought some tools that I thought would, you know, with money I don't have, unfortunately. I thought, oh, I'll just buy some tools and I, you know, at least it's going to something good. And I go to unbolt the last one and I can't get anything in there. I cannot get anything in there. And it looks like in order to do that, I would have to put a jack underneath my transmission, unbolt the transmission uh, mount, and remove a sway brace kind of thing. I don't know what it's called, but a cross member. That's a lot of, a lot of time and energy. And so at this point, I'm like, mm, I won't change the filter right now. I'll just put the bolts that I took out back in, put some new fluid in it. I made sure that I put enough to not overfill it and she seems to be running pretty good so i'm pretty excited i'm excited that i finally have a working vehicle other than my motorcycle of course and it seems like my truck runs better than before as in it's she's always had a high idle and i think that was because of some intake issues and then that caused more fuel to go into the engine, which then was crapping up my catalytic converters, which I replaced a while back, and then I was still throwing codes. So, shadow's fine, uh, runs smoothly. Everything seems to be good. See, every, everything seems to be good. And then, so, I'd probably have to just do some minor things here and there. Uh, maybe some new tie rods in the near future, when I can get ahead of the game now. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just going to worry about the, the starting issue and hopefully I can fix that with a fuel pump or if it's not the fuel pump, I don't know what I'm going to do. So yeah, uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, side note, paying my credit card down, I'm down to, I think, $3,050. Yeah, $3,050 I have left on my debt. The bonus about paying down my debt, everything, is the fact that I my bank gives me a credit score update every two months, and about three weeks ago was the last update, and I was up to 786 points. 786 points. That's pretty awesome. I think the, what, the max is 850? So that's pretty darn good. Um, let's see what happens in the next, the next update in a month and a half. Hopefully, maybe I'll be up to 800. I'd be, I've never hit 800. I don't even think I've hit 786 before. So that's pretty cool. 
The only unfortunate part is um, because, so before I had everything good, I had, did have my starting issue, which was a lot worse than what it is now. It turned out it was a faulty, or not a faulty, but a alternator that was gonna go bad. It was uh, charging 13 volts when I should be volt charging, what, 14.5 volts. So it was charging my battery just enough to barely get my truck running. So I put a new uh, alternator in and that cost me $200. $200, unfortunately, I did not have. So I am in the hole through my butt bank. <clears throat> Luckily, I have a um, line of credit attached onto my account, so I'll never really overdraw, so I won't get the fees, but I'm still gonna get charged a little bit extra. So I get paid, today's Saturday, I get paid Wednesday, and I'll be able to catch up on all of that. Uh, that kind of sucks. I didn't get any overtime on this past paycheck. None. Zero. So that's, it's not going to be too bad, but it's not going to be as sweet as I'm used to. So yeah, um, I'll get that caught up and I'll get ahead of the game. I think I can get ahead pretty, pretty well. Uh, I still have some ideas on selling. Th I've been dragging my feet. I have things to sell, but I just... I don't mind selling them. I just don't want to deal with people. So that's the tough part. But I need to just suck it up and get it, get over it. <clears throat> but I, I know I could sell some things and at least get it down. I, I could pay, easily pay off $2,000 $2, if I sell some stuff. I just need to do it. I just need to freaking do it. So, um, yeah. It's looking pretty good. So hopefully, uh, I'll get this paid off by no later than November. October. I am really shooting for October, September, September, October. September is the big goal. So I get that paid off, and then uh, I don't want to end these videos. I kind of want to still talk about my credit and my debt and where I'm at. So maybe I'll start looking into tips and tricks and whatnot. Anyways, I'm going to cut this off now before it gets too long, too boring. Thanks for following along. Uh, but yeah, just keep at it. You guys, sometimes life throws a, a curveball, like with my truck. I probably could have had another $1,000 paid off if my truck didn't break down. But that's what it is. It is what it is. And you just got to keep at it. Just stay positive. Just kind of don't fall off the deep end and go spending a bunch of money to be happy because that's what I tend to do in the past. When things are going good and then I get depressed, spending money somehow makes me happy for a short period of time until I realize I don't have, I have even less money than I had before and I have a bunch of stuff that really doesn't fill any void. But yeah, there it is. Thanks for following along. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have something to say, please comment. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.